All right, it's no joke that AMC stock had a rough week last week. It closed Friday around $36 per share, and a lot of people are, are feeling the heat. They're feeling the red. They're feeling discouraged that the price is pulling back. And you can see it. You can see it on Twitter. You can see it on Reddit. You can see it on all these YouTube channels that people are kind of skeptical about an AMC stock squeeze and so-called apes. Right, Not by my definition of an ape, but these so-called apes are saying, well, AMC may not squeeze. I think the squeeze is over. It's time to move on. Guys, that is absolutely the mentality that the hedge funds want you to have. That give up, walk away, and admit defeat mentality. That you don't deserve life-changing money mentality. That's it's time that we admit we've lost mentality. And I'm telling you right now, that is what they want. If you want life-changing money, sit around for the rest of this video. Look at the numbers. Look at the conviction. See why we're here and why the AMC stock short squeeze is absolutely not only still on, but the best opportunity to make money in the stock market that is currently available. So if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing and you want to use the link down in the description below for Webull, set up an account. It is very simple and any deposit is going to get you at least two free stocks. Sell those stocks, keep those stocks, whatever you want to do, they are yours. So let's talk about AMC because I can see a lot of people out there that were once looked up to as apes walking away, saying that we're done, saying that the AMC stock short squeeze is over, and they couldn't be more wrong. It's incredible to me that people who had such conviction in the stock not too long ago are willing to walk away. Let's talk about why this is wrong. Guys, we are here for one reason and one reason only, and that is for a short squeeze. It turned into the mother of all short squeezes. We know this. Now, a lot of people may have been led astray, and a lot of people talk about the synthetic shares and the fake shares, and that's one, if not the only reason they bought into AMC stock. Well, I know. I know people come in my live stream all the time and they ask me, is it true that you don't believe in billions of synthetic shares? That's true. I don't believe in billions of synthetic shares. I don't think that there's some factory out there that's pumping out these shares, tricking brokerages into thinking that they exist, not resulting in an FTD, and then there's just this massive ongoing buying pressure that we can generate because there's an endless factory of, of synthetic shares. I don't believe in that. I believe that synthetic shares are derived from FTDs. So at any given time, if you want to know how many synthetic shares are out there, look at how many FTDs are out there. That is how you get a, a synthetic share. Okay, It's not some dude that's living out on an island somewhere in the, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean that's printing shares up and selling them to Wall Street and Wall Street selling them to you. We don't need synthetic shares for the mother of all short squeezes. We don't need it. The only thing we do need, you and I, the community, the true apes behind AMC, unwilling to waver, unwilling to sell those shares. If we do that, the hedge funds are the hedge funds are done. If we do, I can't make it any simpler. The hedge funds are done if we do that. So a lot of people had this this premise of buying AMC stock and this this mother of all short squeezes on those synthetic shares. A lot of people were sold a dream that the short squeeze is going to happen tomorrow. And there are still people out there telling you the short squeeze will happen tomorrow. It's confirmed. We've got leaked breaking information that shows the mother of all short squeezes is going to take place tomorrow. Oh, wait, no. This week. Oh, wait, no. Tomorrow. Oh, wait, no. Next month. It's always getting thrown down the line. And the truth of the matter is, guys, that nobody can determine when it's going to happen. All we know is that for a fact, the short shares must be covered. There's only one scenario in which the short shares do not need to be covered. And that is if AMC goes bankrupt. So let's just talk about that possibility real quick. Is AMC going to go bankrupt? Revenues rising. Current debt obligations are out till 2023. Adam Aaron is doing a fantastic job of marketing AMC. The, the whole company is improving right now. 
Sure, they were in a bad spot last year, but they are they are improving every single day, and their current obligations are nowhere near being due. So, uh, no. But there's a very slim chance, if any, unless something catastrophic external to AMC takes place. I think you guys might know what I'm talking about. I don't want to mention it on the internet because that, that would be terrible. But if, if something external comes in and affects the company in that sort of a way, sure, then they may be facing bankruptcy. But they are nowhere near it right now. So knowing that, the shorts must cover. It's unfortunate that the shorts don't have an expiration date like options or futures contracts do. They can borrow those shares as long as one of two things doesn't occur. They need to cover them due to a margin call or they willingly want to cover them because of things like cost to borrow averages and so on. Let's talk about that briefly. Back at the end of May, so many people were buying up AMC stock. They were unwilling to lend those shares out and the utilization that means how many shares are willing to be lent out was near a hundred percent. If there were, that means when it, when it reaches a hundred, there are no shares left to be borrowed. When that goes up, the cost to borrow goes up. And when the cost to borrow goes up, that means that the short shares have to pay more every single day in interest to keep those short shares alive. Back in May, that average was around 80%. Currently it's sitting at 1%. So the hedge fund, it's just, a, it's just a pinch of salt for the hedge funds. They don't care about that 1% annualized interest rate to keep those shares alive. But guys, as the things fall into place, as the true apes continue to hold, as true apes continue to buy up the shares, as we're unwilling to lend them out, as we're unwilling to, to fold to the psychological pressure that everybody is putting on you. I mean, if you need to turn the, sh the, the news off, turn the news off. Come back here for encouragement, absolutely, because we are here for one reason, to hold the stock. It is simple. It is simple. So many people have made it more complex. We need government intervention. Absolutely not. We need new regulations. Absolutely not. We, we, this is an unfair fight that we can never win. Guys, if you're telling yourself that you can't win, guess what you're not going to do? You're not going to win. I'm telling you, I'm sitting in this chair right here, telling you that we can win. And it's a very simple strategy. We hold what they need to buy. Think about that. We hold what they need to buy. And if we're unwilling to sell it, use whatever analogy you guys want. If they can't get it unless they pay us for it, which is a fact, okay? It's not like they're going to be able to go out to some factory and get it off anybody else. They need to buy AMC stock. If we don't sell it to them, they offer a higher price. If we don't sell it to them, they offer a higher price. Now, eventually, people will sell them the stock. Eventually, they will start to get their hands, whether that's at $75, $100, $750, $7,500. Nobody knows the price at which people are going to be tempted enough to take their profit. One day, it will come, and that is the squeeze. The squeeze happens when the short shares are out there covering their positions, and that, dem that demand is driving the price higher. So please do not let anybody convince you otherwise. The short squeeze is not over because the short shares are outstanding. The short squeeze is not over because people are getting tired because they can't stand to wait a year for life-changing money. The short squeeze is not over because people who call themselves apes were actually just wearing a costume. I mean, get it through your minds, guys. That this is life-changing money. They are not willing to hand us billions, trillions of dollars just for nothing. We have to fight for it. Lucky for us, the fight is as simple as not clicking a sell button. It's as simple as not getting discouraged. So all I need right now is encouragement. Encourage everybody down in the comments below. Remember the good old days back in February, back in March, where everybody was just throwing up diamond hands, apes, and rockets in the comments? Just go back to those. It's simple, guys. Go back to those days and just inspire the rest of us to continue holding and do exactly what we say we're going to set out to do.
And if this button, guys, if it's still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And make sure to use the links down there as well for Weeble and Binance. Sign up, make a deposit, any deposit for that matter. You guys are going to get some free stocks, free crypto, and then uh, Clibro 883 on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, guys, until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.